Well, this is a first for brew builds. I had a company reach out to me and ask me if I'd do a video and review one of their gas leak detectors. You ready? Let's test this. There are potential health hazards when it comes to a gas leak, and they can include risk of suffocation, large fires, and even explosions. As technology has been advancing and individuals are becoming more safety conscious, many people are starting to purchase these inexpensive gas leak detectors to use around their home. So I wanna see how they work and compare them to a traditional liquid type of gas leak detector. Tools and items needed. A top test combustible gas leak detector and a small Phillips screwdriver. Top test is the company that reached out to me and asked me if I'd review their gas leak detector. I guess they saw the video I did where I installed an underground gas line in our backyard. Well, they have a few different ones to choose from on their website, from a smaller pen type to a larger one like the one they sent me that has a flexible arm with a probe at the end of it to help you get into tighter spaces. On the brew scale, technical ability I rate as a beginner. This is very simple to set up and use. Physical ability I rate as easy, other than having to get around your crawl space or attic. This will be my first time using an electronic gas leak detector. I'm looking forward to seeing what this can do and what kind of gas it can detect. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'll put a link in the description below, as well as a 10% off code that Top Test sent me to share with my viewers. All right, let's open this up and take a closer look. Here is the Top Test gas leak detector. Model number PT520A. This comes in a nice carrying case. Here is the multi-language user manual. Three AAA batteries are included, which is nice because they're less common than AA. Looks like I need to loosen a screw to get the battery cover off. The batteries go in the standard way with the negative and against the spring. Once the batteries are in, then put the cover back on and tighten the screw. To power it on, push and hold the red on off button. And wait. And wait. Please allow 30 seconds of warm up time before operation. It's ready. There is a low, medium, and high sensitivity button. You'll use it mostly in the high mode. The APO button is for auto power off, and you can turn the beeper on or off, or off or on. The first thing you'll want to do is test it with some type of gas stove. Make sure there's no flame. I hear beeps, but the display is a little hard to see. Once you know it is working, you start checking for gas leaks around your home. I'll start by checking around our gas meter. No beeps. I'll check the gas line I installed for the new barbecue next. All good around here. Next will be the tankless hot water heater. It's much easier to read the display indoors compared to outdoors. And the hot water heater just turned on. Not reading anything, so that's good. I have a few more lines I can check in the attic. I guess it's good that it's not sensing any gas. Speaking of gas, I have an idea. This gas can is about half full. Let's see if it picks up on gasoline fumes. Hey, we have beeps. That's cool. Every now and then I get a whiff of gas coming from this old jet ski. I wonder if it will detect anything. 
This is a 1978 model, still runs and is a blast to ride. I replaced a few lines a couple of years ago and apparently they are still holding up. Next will be this wood burning barbecue that we built that uses a propane tank to start the fire. I'll set the sensor by one of the holes, then turn on the propane. So that was quick. Ouch! <laughs> Watch where you're going. Alright, for my last test, I want to compare this electronic gas detector with some all-purpose leak detector fluid. I have this shutoff valve right here so I can safely turn the gas on and off. I'll dab some of the fluid around the quick disconnect where it attaches to the valve. Then turn the gas on and loosen the joint with wrenches. I'm going to add some more fluid. As a reminder, if you smell gas in your home, leave the area immediately and call the gas company or 911. If you can safely shut off the main valve at your meter, do so. There is a decent amount of bubbling at the bottom now. I'm not sure if this camera is picking it up, so I'll go grab another camera. And still no beeps from the electronic one. You can see the foam bubbling now at the bottom, but still no beeps. There's the alarm. I'm going to tighten it back up and do it again. Okay, it's starting to bubble. No beeps. There it goes. So, it is working. I would say it's not quite sensitive enough for this type of test. Initially, there was just not enough gas leaking out to trigger the alarm. But as you can see from the bubbles, there was a leak before the alarm was triggered. But as you can see from the bubbles, there was a leak before the alarm triggered. It is going off even though I can't smell any gas. I would imagine being indoors or in a more confined space would be a better test for this compared to being outdoors. Like any tool, you need to know the limitations. This top test leak detector is simple to use and it can give you peace of mind checking for a gas leak around your house every six months or so. But as I showed you, it's not quite as sensitive as the liquid gas leak detector for finding a leak in a pipe. But remember, this fluid will only find a leak by creating small bubbles from a pressure leak. It does not detect any type of gas. So when it comes to installing a new gas line or pipe, an electronic gas leak detector really won't work because you need to do a pressure test first using air only, not gas. So there won't be any gas leaking for this to detect. Now, if you do get a whiff of gas, this does give you the ability to check around appliances and objects to help pinpoint where the gas leak may be coming from. But if it's a strong smell, get out of the house, and if you can, shut off the gas. If you've gotten something out of this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to Brew Builds. I put a link in the description below for this gas leak detector or you can purchase one off of the Top Test website. And don't forget to use that 10% off code to save yourself a few bucks. Now if you want to see the video where I installed the underground gas line for this barbecue, check out this video here. Or if you need to clean up an area after a barbecue, I reviewed this power washer in this one. Now it's time for me to get back to work building this fireplace and barbecue structure. And now I have a cool new tool to check for any gas leaks. Now if I could just remember where this piece went.